Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 1992-95 University of Winnipeg, Lady Westman. Now, ladies, I'm going to ask you to step forward and wave to the crowd when your name is called. From the 1993 team, Michelle Chambers Foreman. There she goes. <laughs> Sorry, it's some, of their, they're, some of them are so tall, they don't have to step forward. It's great. Well, you still can, though. Uh, and Sarah Myers from the 1993 team. From the 1994 team, the trainer, Patty Burak Sliwiani. From the 1995 team, Lynette Lafreniere Buchanan. From Niverville, Lara Asplin Duick. In from Pennsylvania, Heather Corby Holbrook. In from Nelson, BC, formerly Anna Weber, now Anna Marie Paley. Not here. She stayed in Nelson. And the trainer, Carrie Knight Yackel. Now, those who played on the 1993 and 94 teams, in from Carmen, Larissa Waschuk Entz. Here from Bozager, Heidi Rowley. Those who played in the 1994 and 95 teams, Natalie McVicker Aitken. Marnie Nechwediak Minkus. This was to be determined, but I'm going to say their names anyway because we want to mention them. Andrea Pales, not here. And Tracy Peter, also a member of the team. And in from Pennsylvania, Nicole Yonker Reynolds. <laughs> and finally, team members who played all three years. Pam Flick Dennis. Sandy Corby Dybert. In from LaSalle, Jody Rock. Repres I love how they say in from, like, l like anyway. Niverville's not that far. <laughs> I'm from Steinbeck, I know. Okay, anyway, it was just fun. I just thought I'd say that. In from LaSalle, that was great. Representing her son, assistant coach Keith, uh, K assistant coach Keith Pruden is Doreen Pruden. There she is. <laughs> the manager, Jeff Howe, Jennifer Howe. Whoa, and I know you. <laughs> just slipped out. In from Guelph, uh, assistant coach Gail Kendall. And the head coach, Tom Kendall. And now speaking on behalf of the team, Tom Kendall. Thank you. Um, we're indeed honored tonight to be, to be here. Uh, and a little humble to be inducted at the same time as some of the amazing athletes that we've um, seen tonight, especially the uh, king of bandy. <laughs> um, without whom the uh, sport culture in this province would uh, not be as strong as it is. The, um, we, would like to, uh, we would like to dedicate um, uh, and pay remembrance to uh, Shira Chelsea, who, uh, who played on our 92-93 team and uh, who earlier this year lost a battle with cancer. The, um, I'm extremely proud of this group. Um, we're here tonight because um, we won three national championships in a row and because we had an unbelievable streak of 88 games. But we're also here tonight because of the nature of these athletes, these young women. Um, they didn't play for the wings, the championship. They didn't play for the streak. The streak really was um, just happened. But what they did do was they played for each other all the time. Every practice, every game, every trip that we took, this team stuck together. They played for each other. If one was in trouble, somebody else took care of it. And so this is what sport is supposed to be about. This is what athletes are supposed to do. And this particular group of young women 
did that for a long period of time, for three years. And we're all very proud of, uh, of that accomplishment. I'd like to thank, um, first of all, the parents of all of these young women um, that are here tonight. You, you raised, um, you've raised wonderful daughters. You should be proud. <laughs> also, I'd like to thank the University of Winnipeg, um, who gave us the support. Uh, Aubrey Ferris was our athletic director, and um, we took him for granted. Um, but the fact of the matter is, he provided us with the resources and the support uh, that made this possible. Uh, ben Strunzo, our trainer, who um, with tape <laughs> kept these guys because he knew that they couldn't be injured because I wouldn't allow that. Um, he, he, was, he was tremendous. And many other people at the university who supported us uh, through the years. Now, I was going to tell a few stories about the streak and um, three championships. Um, but I'm a little disheartened tonight because for the last two nights I've been listening to stories about how I treated these guys. <laughs> I was horrible. <laughs> and um, some of them are amazed that they're stable today. <laughs> but we had an interesting trip. In 1992, we, uh, we actually were in the, in the national final in PEI, and we played Victoria, a team that we'd never beaten, and we lost. The next year, we went into their gym, and we beat them in the final uh, to win our first ever national championship. The next year, we went to Calgary for a championship, and Calgary held the... Uh, Canadian record for, for a streak of 69. We broke that and won our second national championship. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the medal ceremony or the banner because I collapsed and they dragged me off to a Calgary, Calgary hospital. <laughs> so a reporter asked one of, the, one of the players, your coach has been taken to the hospital. Do you think he has a heart attack? And she replied, impossible, he doesn't have one. <laughs> so, so we had planned only to win two national championships, and I didn't see the medal presentation. So when I got back to the um, hotel, I made them promise me that they could win a third one so that I could actually enjoy that. So it, so it was that... Um, Halfway through uh, that next season, we lost a game, a 12-point lead at halftime, and we lost a game to the University of Manitoba. And um, for most uh, teams, that would, be, that would be very, very um, disheartening, and it would probably result in at least a temporary setback. But not these guys. We jumped on a plane five days later, Went to Hawaii. That was, that was a reward. <laughs> Went to Hawaii, played in a Division I tournament. We beat Louisville, Troy State, and Hawaii. And the few fans that were there thought that we were a semi-pro team. That was cool. <laughs> we then came back and won another 20-plus games and won our third championship. And the thing I remember about that was all of the fans that came to, to Lakehead that year with cards that had a big three on it. And so we won that third championship, and, um, uh, and, and then we, we parted ways. Some of us left, and, and uh, um, uh, others, others played uh, the following year and the following two years. But it was a very, very exciting um, time that we had, and, and we're so proud of, of the achievements of the, this group of uh, people. And... Uh, we're just so grateful to be here tonight and, and to be, to be honoured uh, with, uh, with the inductees that have been here. Now, our captain was, uh, was Pam Flick at the time, and she uh, has asked if she can say a few words. Well, thank you, everyone. And I, I know it's been a long night, and, and we're ready to, to move on. But um, for most of you here tonight, you couldn't see that in the back going on, 
uh, thrill tonight was many of the uh, children's play area of, of many of the players. And I know that as parents now, one of the things that we, um, I, I know that we all do is, is we ask our, our children to make sure that they say thank you. And they say thank you to their coaches and their teachers. And um, I know I do that with my children every day. <laughs> 18 years ago, um, we all went through this together. And I'm not sure that we ever really truly thanked the people who allowed us to be great. So I'd like to just take a couple of minutes and do that. To Coach Kendall, thank you for allowing us and expecting us to be great every day. And thank you for making us accountable every single day. To the University of Winnipeg and all of you who in your roles allowed us to have a safe place and it was our home away from home, thank you. And finally to our family and friends who waited sometimes for sometimes hours at the top of the Duckler Center in the foyer as we came up. Thank you for being supportive and being there through the good, the bad, and the ugly. It was a great uh, moment. It was a great time for all of us. And again, for so uh, many of us, we don't, uh, we didn't have a chance to say thank you. So thank you for all of you tonight for allowing us to be here tonight. And thank you for all of us for being great. Thank you.